Alright guys, here we are, Anthony 4B4 Diesel at the Prado Hospital. Actually, I was just thinking, I might change the name from the Prado Hospital. We've got a Facebook page called the Prado Hospital. I might change it to the Prado Recording Studio. Because <laughs> there's more videos than bloody work goes on. Anyway, no, it's all good. So here at the Prado Recording Studio, we are about to replace a suction control valve, right? It's Suction control valve is down there somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right, right in the middle of the picture. So you can see it's a little bit right about there. Yep, you can see it's kind of like got a bit of a clean spot on it. And I'll tell you what that's all about and what's going on. Now, I didn't, I don't own, I don't service, and I didn't set up any of these wires, right, and uh, things like that and the screw and the type of batteries or anything like that i just want to be clear right i just have to do my job okay so other videos will give you more information if you want to know more about what i'm talking about there uh, we did replace the injectors on this vehicle if i remember correctly about four years ago and i drove it cold this morning and it runs bloody beautiful and it's nice and quiet so really happy with that now with the suction control valves, at one point in time, obviously early days, maybe we weren't changing them because it's not really part of the injector replacement job. It's not part of it. Like, you know, injectors are up in here and the suction control is down there on the pump. Anyway, if you want to know more about suction control valves, we've probably got a suction control valve playlist. On our channel, we've got playlists, right? Check them out. You go on our, you know, YouTube page and playlists and check out that and it's got all the different subjects there of what you want to what you might want to it might be a suspension playlist or injector information playlist or EGR playlist there will be a suction control valve playlist and if there's not there will be because I'm after this video at some point I'm going to put the playlist I'm going to add this video I'm going to find all the other suction control valve videos and I'm going to put them in there and if it's already there I'm just going to add this one to it so if you're looking at this one by that time there should be a suction control it'll say scv or something like that or suction control just search suction control have a browse through there's only about 10 20 about 20 playlists there'll probably be 30 or 40 but that's easier than thousands and thousands of videos you can search the videos but it's going to be easier to search the playlists and if there's 30 videos replacing injectors are all under one playlist you just watch the lot and then you got maximum info and you need that for replacing injectors now as i said before those short suction control valves are rubbish the point I was trying to get to was early days because it adds a lot to the cost of the job and it's not part of it we weren't doing it as part of it but then at some point we were regularly seeing problems with those suction control valves those short ones they're rubbish um, stalling blowing smoke not running right and early days we used to replace them with genuine denso the same short type like that before we actually knew that they were problematic and we actually had faulty ones out of the box two in a row actually so that can even happen so at some point years ago we realized that that compact type is the problem now this is not just about Prados and 1KDs and D4Ds and Toyotas that same suction control valves used on other makes and models I think Nissan Pathfinders use them so when you see those Nissans blowing smoke or stalling and whatever it's probably the same problem this is where the information from this channel crosses over to other makes and models so you need to have a good look at that if you haven't seen my other suction control valve videos so we're going to include in this one a little bit of information on changing it but we've got a much more detailed one that goes for I think about 30 minutes showing you all the maximum information so in this one I'm going to try and give you stuff that I haven't given you in the other suction control valve videos and maybe a little bit extra but I haven't watched those lately to know what I gave you then so I'm taking a guess it's not part of the injector kit to replace the suction control valve. It's an add-on extra and it's only the early vehicles. 0, 5, 6, 7, 8 thereabouts, maybe into 2009, that you need to check and maybe end up replacing them. You can do it at the same time or you can get it later. They're very popular and therefore hard to get a hold of, especially during COVID. Now, if you look down there, it's a bit of a dark spot. See that grey plug there? That's plugged onto the suction control valve. If you see on the back, you'll see a, a plastic backing on it, right? I'll let it focus again. Then you'll see a metal casing. It's about an inch long, maybe 20 mil. I haven't measured one. And then you'll see one of the bolts. One of the bolts is just over here at this side at the end of my finger. So I'll let it focus again, right? See, just in the middle of the picture now. They're like a little Allen key. We've got that Allen key. I think they're four mil. I'm just going to go remember. I'm going to give you the size. I've done it in other videos anyway. But um, 
easy to get that one out undo the plug take the two bolts out out she comes there's a gasket you don't get with the scv you need to reuse it usually stays stuck on the back of the pump check it out if you've got a later one you can replace the scv it's a bit different it doesn't have a gasket doesn't come with a gasket um what is it mate five mil so yeah five mil for that allen key we just use a little as i've shown in other videos a little quarter drive right adapter type thing with a five mil i've got an old rusty one somewhere as well but that's the yeah, I think I've got a few of them in here because you never know if you lose one. Make sure you don't drop stuff. I access them from the top here, undo the plug, bolt out, out she comes. And check the other video for putting the new one. It's an upgrade kit, it's a longer one, it's not the compact top. So when you're done, you're going to find it's about, I'm going to say about two inches long. It might not be quite that long, but about two inches, maybe 40 mil. They seem to be, it's not the compact top. The plug plugs straight in, right? It probably doesn't matter which way it goes, but I like to have it the same orientation as it was before with a plug towards the top, towards the engine type thing. Um, symptoms of the suction control, as we've said before, stalling, blowing smoke, using fuel, rattles and knocks and whatever, but certainly you do it after you've done the injectors. If you think you might need an SCV, you certainly need injectors first, and then at some time later down the track, even if you order at the same time as your injectors, you want to put it in a couple weeks later. Get used to what the vehicle sounds like, with the new injectors and then you can see if there's a bit of a difference so mate uh, let's get in there we're going to undo the plug it's hard to show you this we've done it in the other video so i'm going to this is an instruction we're going to go down undo the plug take the few bolts out the two bolts and then we're going to take it to the bench and show you what it looks like all right silence in the prado recording studio please hey shush you bloody people they don't listen anyway uh look Suction control valve, obviously this is the new one here, we'll have a quick look at that, right? We're not going to go in too much detail here, here's the dirty old one, you can see it was sitting in there, you can see the line on the side, because why is it clean in that spot? I'll tell you why, right? This is what I haven't told you yet, the engine bay of the vehicle was pretty clean, but it was way too dirty to change a suction control valve, and you can see by that, you can't even get it all off, so I doused it in uh, degreaser, hit it with a pressure washer, That because of things in the way, the only angle you could get was to about there, but my point is, if it doesn't come off with that and compressed air and everything and you don't wash it and do it straight away you'll get water in there you don't want to get dirt or anything in the back of that pump so it's got to be nice and clean see that side in there inside there clean that's what we want now this thing rubbish those screws rubbish what's going to happen now is we get this one out right brand new it's got a little over it now there's a few different part numbers there's different suction control valves for different vehicles etc etc and it all and, and sometimes i can mix and match and whatever but it all depends um, if, right, what's available at the time, what we use, and all that sort of thing, right? So you need the two longer screws. Here's your new suction control, a longer, right? We, this video is more about compare the pair, compare the pair, compare the pair. I don't want to put that dirty thing anywhere near that one. See what I mean? Inch, two inches, ballpark. Yo, you want an exact measurement, okay? We can do that. Wasn't part of the plan. I just grabbed a ruler. I've always got a ruler handy. Um, there it is, right? Yeah, I said that. The metal part is just under 20 mil. Okay, the metal part on that, a bit over 40. So 20, 40, thereabouts, right? We're not going to be precise about it. But they may, that may help someone one day with a bit, bit of that data there for whatever reason. Yeah, the deal is, let's get rid of that rubbish. Right, get that away from here. Right, get it away. Get that rotten, dirty thing away. Right. There's two O-rings in this kit. In this kit, there's two. One goes each side, one goes in there as per our other video, one goes there, we'll show you how to do it in the other video. Right, that spacer goes on here and boom, that goes in. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like that. Don't worry about it. If you've got the right, if you've got the parts off me, you're getting the right thing for the right thing and all that, you don't have to worry about it. If you're not sure, come back to me. Shoot me a text message, say, hey, I've got an SCV, send me some photos. I can't help you unless I can see what's going on, but you won't have an issue because we just get it right the first time. Little guide pins, we're not going to go into it too much here. Let's get that in the vehicle, show you what it looks like when it's in there, and I'll remind you again at this point, check the other SCV videos. More detail is in them. This is what it looks like once it's in, when you've got the correct suction control valve, okay? Right, now it hasn't been cleaned up yet. It's installed. It's all happy, shiny, long. Everybody likes a long one, right? Sometimes it's a little bit hard to find the hole down there you just need to take your time and line it up it's not a hurry just get it lined up and get that long one in the hole and just nip it up nicely okay don't forget to nip up those well they're not nuts they're bolts you know little screws 
Now, one other thing I've noticed, so just this other clamp here. No, it's tight. It's good. Okay. Um, I think that's it then, isn't it? Right? So, I'll remind you again. Check out other suction control valve videos because they've got more information in them. This was a bit different aspect and trying to keep it a bit shorter. But being there, rubbish, those short ones, you want the long one in. If you've got something like that, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and go check out our playlist. It'll be called Suction Control Valve, more likely, SCV. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.